Hello, this is Dr. Marianne Carroll, and this is uh, the introductory chemistry, 1410, at South Central Louisiana Technical College in Reserve, Louisiana. We're going to begin the series of lectures on metric units, uh, with met metric units, and you should be familiar with these metric units of measurement. We'll be using them frequently. Um, meters, liters, grams, seconds is a metric unit. And for measuring temperature, we need to understand uh, degrees Kelvin. And um, the calculation to get degrees Kelvin is to take our degrees Celsius and add 273. Uh, if we're converting from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, we tend really not to do that very often. We take the degrees Celsius times 9 fifths plus 32 degrees to get uh, Fahrenheit. Or if we want to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, it's Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 ninths. The units of uh, the metric units of measurement usually are um, preceded by very common prefixes. Uh, for instance, uh, mega, not very often used, but it refers to a ten to the six or a million. So if I say um, mega liter, I'm saying I have one million or ten to the six liters. Okay, and that's how these prefixes are used. Uh, more typically, More typically, we use kilo, which is 10 to the third, so a kilo gram is actually 10 to the third, or 1,000 grams. And the rest of the prefixes follow as indicated here. We have a deci which is equivalent to a tenth, 0.1, uh, centi, which is equivalent to a one and one over a hundred, or 0 0.01. We have a milli, equivalent to a 0 0.001, or 10 to the minus three. A micro, uh, we use the symbol mu, mu, M-U, uh, to designate micro. So a microgram is equivalent to 10 to the minus 6 grams. And uh, the last two, nano, is equivalent to 10 to the minus 9 and pico is 10 to the minus 12. So these are common prefixes that go uh, prior to uh, measurements like meters, liters, and uh, grams in particular. Uh, doing a conversion, so we can use these units to convert. Uh, if we have a table, 
that helps us to uh, identify how many inches are in a centimeter that we can do a conversion so actually one inch equals 2.54 centimeters cm is your short short form so if I have the example of uh, 8 meters And I want to express that in inches. Inches. I set up a grid where eight meters I want to convert to centimeters. Because remember, we want to end in inches. So we know that one centimeter, as I've indicated here, uh, is equivalent to two. Um, actually is equivalent to 10 to the minus 2 meters. And we can get that from up here. This is equal to 10 to the minus 2. So a centimeter is 10 to the minus 2 meters. So now my meters cancel out and when I do my multiplication and division I'll have centimeters but I want to get inches so now I have to convert my centimeters to inches and as I said here we indicated one inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters my centimeters cancel in this grid and I end up with inches as my, as my answer and when I do the multiplication and the division I end up with 315 inches and so 315 inches is equivalent to 8.0 meters so we'll be doing similar conversions like this uh, as we as we move on, uh, something a little more relevant is, for instance, we want to convert, um, let's say, 10 grams, and we want to know how many milligrams that is. Okay, so we set up a similar grid, and we know that there is 1,000 milligrams per gram. My grams cancel out. I equal milligrams. 10 times 1,000 is 10,000 milligrams or 10 to the minus 4 milligrams as the expo uh, sorry, plus 4 as the exponent exponential form of 10,000 10 to the positive 4 milligrams alright there are some rules involving values, numbers that we should be familiar with. Uh, these rules involve what are called significant figures. Okay. Uh, stay tuned for uh, um, the second part of this lecture where we will talk about significant figures.